Okay, hello Sagittarius, how you doing? This is Keep It Classy. I'm doing you guys story reads. Sit back, enjoy the story read. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Join if you'd like to be a member of my channel. New viewers, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you much for stopping by checking my channel out. Also, don't forget to drop your names in the Cash App. I mean, your Cash App names in the comments below. Congratulations to my new um, winners that were picked for this month. The birthday winner was Javon. Congratulations, Javon. Happy birthday to you. Even if it's not the day of your birthday, mine was yesterday. So that was my gift to be able to give a gift to someone else. Okay. To two people, actually. Um, the other one was Kiana. Congratulations, Kiana. Okay. All right, so you guys feel free to donate to my channel as well. Also, check out the Fits Benefits site. All right, check that active wear site out. I'm gonna drop some cards. You guys sit back, enjoy the reading. Okay, Sagittarius's energy. Show me what's going on in Sagittarius's energy. Okay, all right. Okay, we have the Five of Wands, Sag, Leo, Aries energy. You guys' energy right there. Okay, we have the Five of Swords, Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Eight of Cups, Water energy. That's usually a Cancer. That could be a Cancer, but that's Pisces, Scorpio energy as well. Um, Two of Cups is here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer's energy. We have the King of Wands, Aries energy. And so let's see. Okay, so um somebody's energy conflicted, confused. This could be you, or this is somebody that's confused and energy conflicted concerning you. All right, they're having a hard time. They're having a hard time um, coming out of this confusion, this confliction. They're trying to make a decision whether to walk away. They're confused. Two of Cups, this could be somebody you're committed to. So they're having a hard time to uh, make this decision whether to walk away from you, um, to go towards something or someone that innerly satisfies them, someone that, that that they they deeply desire. And there, it it it's yeah yeah yeah. And this could be an Aries. This could be how you're feeling. This could be you. So you guys are going to have to switch it to how it resonates with you. Okay, Five of Pentacles is here as well. They feel ignored. If this is um they, this person, they they feel ignored by you. They feel out in the cold. The emperor is here. Or this is how they're doing you. This could how you be this could be how they're making you feel out in the cold. You could feel like this person is not paying you any attention. The reason why is because their focus is on making a decision whether to walk away from you or not. To be with someone that utterly satisfies them passionately. This is somebody that they're manifesting, a uh, Aries. Or this is an Aries you're dealing with. This could be an Aries you're dealing with. 
But this is somebody they're manifesting. They're trying to manifest what they want. They're trying to manifest a decision. They could find you to be too bossy and controlling. In the marriage, this is somebody you're married to. So they could find you to be too bossy and controlling in within the marriage. Um Seven of Pentacles is here. So they're contemplating on what to do in this situation. Earth energy. Or this is an earth sign. They're contemplating between you and an uh, um, earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. The Wheel of Fortune is here. So they may be calling on you know, the divine for help in this situation. Oh, there I go again. The moon card is here. This person is being deceptive. This person you're dealing with, they're being deceptive because they're hiding this from you. Or they may feel divinely connected to this person, this earth sign, but they're being deceptive. They're keeping it a secret, okay, that they want to end things with you. Death card is here. That they want to rebirth somewhere else. That they're thinking about a rebirth somewhere else. Yeah. So they could charge successfully. Forward somewhere else, cancer energy. Six of Cups is here. Yeah, with someone in their past. Some of you, it's a water sign that they're dealing with. It's a water sign. Um, cancer. And they think about this person a lot. There's somebody that they either grew up with, somebody they worked with in the past, somebody, you know, they could have just met this person somewhere and just grew a bond with this person, intuitive, you know, a connection, a soul bond with this person. Um, Tower. This person is causing a tower moment between you, you know, oh, or maybe this person, they went through a tower with this person. Some type of tower happened between them and this person. And they want to, they're trying to go back towards this person. They're trying to pull this person back in. Towers here. Or they're thinking about causing the tower between you and them. So they can move forward fast with this person. They may be in communication with this person. The devil is here. Somebody's obsessed. They may be obsessed over this person. Um, The world card is here. So they could be leaning more towards ending a cycle with you so they can have a new beginning with this other person because they're obsessed over this person. Um, the hangman is here, but they're stagnant. They're trying to make a decision, okay? Because like we said, they're, they're innerly conflicted. They're confused on what to do. But they know what they want to do, but they don't know how to go about doing it. And it's hard for them to walk away from the, the marriage. It's hard for this person to walk away. But they are in communication with this person. They're obsessed over this person. They are leaning more towards ending the cycle. So they have a new beginning with this person. Pisces energy is here, but they're stagnant. Okay. But they're holding on at the same time to this um 
person. They want to heal things with this person. They truly want to heal things with this person. They're just trying to figure out a way to maybe communicate this to you. You know, how they're feeling. And what they want to do. But they're stagnant on how. Seven of Swords is here. Ooh. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person may no longer want to deceive you. They no longer want to keep doing this behind your back. That's what I'm hearing. This, this is why this card is here. Um, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, because this person stays on their mind. They have a lot of wishful thinking when it comes to this person. This person makes them feel good, makes them feel victorious when they communicate with this person. If they're if they're with this person, if this person in their vicinity, if they see this person from time to time, when they're with this person, this person makes them feel good. Nine of Cups, okay? They feel loved by this person. Maybe this person, you know, they're ready to rush in and offer love to this person. Or they, they love this. They truly love this person. Pisces energy. Or this person just makes them feel loved. Um, the Eight of Pentacles. And this is, they want to real, this has them wanting to rebuild stability with this other person. How this person makes them feel. Because they're feeling ignored by you. So they're getting all their attentions from this other person. Nine of Pentacles. And they also see this person Virgo energy here. They also see this person, person you know, like I said, nurturing to them, this person. Is strong, creative, beautiful, stable, secure within themselves. They see all this in this person. They see this person being very independent, you know? Strong will. Um, Sagittarius' energy. Show me more Sagittarius' energy. Show me more Sagittarius. Okay. So they feel like you're, um, this is the Seven of Wands. So they feel like you fending them off, you fight them off, you know? They may feel like they tried with you. Two of a swords. They had a crossroads, had a, you know, whatever's going on. On with you guys, they're at a crossroads on how to move on forward with you because they feel like you're fending them off. So they're at a crossroads when it comes to you. Um, six of swords here. So they just feel like they should just move on to better waters with someone that's, you know, in their past. That they have a lot of, that, that someone that makes them feel like they want to feel victorious, loved. Okay, um. okay, nine of wands. They're tired of going through a struggle mentally and physically. They're tired of the struggle of trying to make things work with you, you guys. Um, the six of pentacles is here. Okay, they're tired of struggling, trying to get all your, your attention, your time, you know. They're tired of fighting for your attention, struggling, trying to get it. Nine of Pentacles. They're planning, strategizing, plotting on, you know, how to offer something to you. So maybe they're planning to offer you some type of settlement, some type of, um, what do you call it? Like when you go through a separation or divorce, something um, so they could walk away. 
so they could leave the situation. They're, they're planning to strategize on how to offer you something. So they could um, move on, move to better waters. Um, that is Terrence's energy. That's what I'm hearing here. <sighs> oh, Lord. Yeah, four of pentacles. Yeah, so they're planning, strategizing, plotting how to offer you something, you know, because they don't want to lose a lot. Okay, they want to hold on to as much as they can hold on to of their stability. All right, so they want to be able to hold on to what they value. They don't want to lose too much, so they're going to come in with the conversation on what to offer you, what will you accept, you know, so they can move to better waters. Queen of Swords is here, but they know, they see you as this right here, Queen of Swords here. You could have Aquarius in your energy. Yeah, so they see, you know, so you won't cut them off. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, want, they want to come in with the offer that you're going to accept and not cut them off. So they want to make sure it's something that you're going to accept. Queen of Wands is here. So... It's going to be something enough for you to be stable so and secure. So this is you. They're going to offer you something that's going to allow you to be stable and secure. So that's what they're going to come in with, the offer. Because they know that that's what you're going to be looking for, probably, as well. Something that's stable and secure. So they're making sure they come in with that offer. That's something that, you know, you're going to be comfortable <laughs> Okay, the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they want to work on a partnership and stability. Yeah, they're going to offer you something where you could be stable and uncomfortable. So they can move to better waters and work on a partnership with a Earth sign, a Taurus Virgo, or uh, a Capricorn. Justice is here. So they may separation is here. This is a card of separation as well. Libra energy. Okay, if it's not this person may have Libra in their chart, this Taurus. They want a victory with this Taurus of working on a partnership of stability with this Taurus. This is what they want to This is what this is the route they want to go, y'all. So I want a victory with this um, Earth, Earth Libra um, sign. Okay, um, Sagittarius is energy, please. Show me Sagittarius is energy, please. Show me Sagittarius is energy, please. I'm gonna throw one more card on it and I'm gonna end it. Okay. And it came out again, like. The sun is here. Yeah. It's going to be this. It's going to be illuminated to you. Why this person is walking away from you. You will find out. This person. They see themselves happy with this person. Queen of Pentacles. This is a Taurus. So. Taurus energy. So this is a Taurus. They feel like this person makes them happy. And they want stability with this person they find this person to be beautiful stable within themselves secure within themselves and this who who they choose to want to move forward with to have stability so that's what i have for you guys sagittarius i'm gonna leave it right here um you guys can like share hit the notification button to be notified when i post a video join um if you'd like to be a member new viewers thank you for stopping by checking out my channel subscribe i love to have you guys as a subscriber i hope i gave someone some insight on the story read don't forget to drop your cash app in the comment box, your cash app name that is. Also, check out the Fitz Benefit site. Feel free to donate to my channel. I love you guys. Be good.